The Joy of Functional Game Dev, Project 1, Episode 6. Hey there, everybody. Today, we're going to get the transition from game over state to play state done correctly, because this, this <coughs> <it's, coughs> we left it off, it was wrong. And then after that, we are going to attempt to uh, read documentation and get a sprite font, a real font, into here. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but so we'll see. Okay. <clears throat> First off, we've got um, this board state. And one of the things that I think we're going to need to do is uh, let new game equal oh, and it's a, that's a function equal is that. So really what I want to do here is I want to say that the game state when I create it is new game. Call it. Because we're going to want to use new game or new whatever. New game is fine. So what we want to do here this should very quickly resolve itself. So when I update the game over state and I hit F2, it's not simply a matter of um, board state. We update the keyboard state. It is the yeah, we're gonna yeah, the way it's not, it's not going to work the way we have it here. It's all right. We'll put if. Okay. I got X there. All right. There. Got it. I got it now. All right. Once in a while, it's a little bit. And we're going to, mm -hmm. game over state, this, so that, then new game. Uh, it's board state dot new game. So you may already be there. Build it. Hey, all right. Word state, and I want to quickly test it. Where is my there we go. new game? Let's bring it back down to six seconds so we can test and make sure that that's working. All right, so four, three, two, one. Game over, so I can't move around. But if I hit F2, then I should back up to... There we go. I got a score. Okay. Should do it again? Alright, it does reset. Well, that was simple. Just takes a little bit of thinking. Let's play a game right quick. And then we're going to try to add a font. And we should go... I really got to get a repeat key in here. All right. Yeah, this is, this is obnoxious. All right. Perhaps one of these times we got to get that controller stuff in there. Can I beat 25? I don't know if I can. Tap in the keys this sort of rate well, obnoxious if I get 24 was my record I don't know, you'll tell me oh, it's rough oh, we're going to go for 30 if we can, come on five six uh, ah oh. Let me say, I think that is my highest score. And 
and yeah, better control scheme, because that kind of sucks. And I think we may wind up wanting more time on here than, uh, than not, but okay, so we've shown that works, and now I could also start over, brand new game, and there we are. Okay, that's great. So that didn't take much, and now I have it looked up over here, so drawing text with sprite fonts, and this is um, some stuff for C Sharp, and it talks about making you know, online templates for uh, for a sprite font, and apparently it is an XML file. So, uh, so I looked it up. Apparently there's this XML file, and we're gonna we're gonna take this. So we gotta make, gotta make a dot sprite font file. So let's let's do that. So, all right, E drive and F sharp. There we are. Project one, money face, money face again, and the content we're gonna make. New, so I suppose this is the way to do it. All right, let's don't need that. Right, take this, put it over here. I'm going to save you off as e as one. Face content. We're gonna call it font dot sprite font. We're gonna do that and we're gonna say it is XML in our notepad plus plus and courier new exists here. Now we're going to add it to our project. Just the item. Start up XML. Oh, not the XML, sprite font. There we are. Open you up. Does it know what the heck you are? Well, it does. It'll open it up. So there's at least that we can continue on editing from here and that's groovy and and then what do we have to do in order to load a sprite font so let's take a look over here so we need a sprite font and a content load sprite font and we can draw the string with the font all right <clears throat> so we need a sprite font. So we're just going to test this out. Yeah, which means we're going to have to change our game here. So we're going to go with let mutable font. Right font equals, equals no. And when we load content, the font this dot content dot load sprite font, and it's just called font, right? And hmm, well, things you know. Let's uh. After the game updater... Ah, okay, so here we are. Let's, <clears throat> just to see if it's working. Sprite, batch, draw, string. And we've got font. Hello? Um, yeah, for, yeah, they're all vector twos. All right. New vector two. Don't know. Call it one. 
100, 100. Color dot, uh, I think black will show up just fine. Do not float. Here has type float. All right, I don't know what float 32 is. We're gonna construct you. All right. So now it's going to draw, and it's always going to draw this over. So we'll find a way to pass this up and forward to our rendering code if that is our wish. And no. Ah, that again. Needs to be content, and I'm willing to bet this is going to not be the last time that I that I forget this. Not a blended exception occurred in. Is there no? Well, that's interesting. Do we not have the ability to do sprite fonts in mono game? Sprite font mono game. Drawing my sprite fonts. That's the very one I was using, and this seems to say it's been working. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Now, so why am I getting... Content load sprite font with font. And it should work. Hmm. Let me investigate this. Okay. So I managed to do it. <coughs> And I'm going to back, <laughs> backtrack and do it again. Because, so now here it is. There it is at 100, 100. Little, little text saying hello. <clears throat> and the magic all extends around this little font.xnb. Font.xnb <clears throat> is, uh, is, a, is a rip roar in good time. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take you through how we wound up. Um, well, how we wound up getting, how we wound up getting there. So sprite font we got, <clears throat> and so we also need this XNB. Who knows what it is? It's like I don't know what. I don't know how to open it. I don't want to open it. So in mono game. There's a mono game pipeline, and in I'm delete, I'm going to make a brand new one. I don't want to save the project. I want to. Um, I don't know where exactly I want to put it. So we'll call it here in Money Face. So we're going to just call it. Um, well, we'll call it Money Face. Dot MGCB. Yes, I want to save the so. So what I wind up doing is I'm going to open, I'm going to add an existing item. So where are you? Very strange things have taken place. Money face content. Where did what happened here? No, so this is their project one money face. All right, so that's where I am. Project one money face. What has here it has 
Yeah, that, 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 okay, that's that's my uh, that's my mono game stuff. But where? Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna move on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna add an existing item, and that existing item is the sprite font. Okay, it's content sprite font. So then, I just tell it to build. Yep, love to do that. And then somewhere, magically, content, nope, that's not what I want. I want money face, money face, content, <coughs> still not sure exactly where it winds up, but I do know, so let's clean, build, clean. My goodness, this is this is not the most straightforward thing in the world. So that was the old one. We're gonna we're deleting it, and we want to use we want to use the mono game tool. We really, really do. What happens with this? So sprite font. Currently, don't have an XMV, so I want to. Rebuild. I make money face, money face, cut sprite font. Doesn't tell me where it goes. Content. Money face bin, money face. Bin. Debug content. It's empty. Very, very strange. Where'd you go? So here's money face MGCB. Such a strange. See, this is one of those. One of those. I'm, I'm struggling with the plat there, and there, it is. Here we are money face bin. No. Project one money face. There's that guy. Money face bin. I just. What am I doing wrong? Money face content. And there's the guy. <clears throat> so, all right, I'm, I'll, I will have to get better with doing this, but it's under project one, money face. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So in the same one, there's a bin right there. That's what's that's what's hosing me up. So I'm putting that back there. Is he still there? He's content and copy of newer. Let's save him. Let's clean. Let's build. Yeah, I want to find a better way to do it. So yeah, you got to use the content builder. You need this this magical XNB file. And that's normally integrated. Well, in under under XNA, it was integrated into Visual Studio, and here it's just uh, got to use this pipeline tool, and it's just another tool to get to get better with, I guess. But so, but in any case, that's that's a that's a good thing. So we can we can write it, write some fonts, and now instead of so now instead of this, let's let's go with the size twenty eight and thirty two through one twenty seven. I can do style. I believe this is one where I can say bold. All right, starting to. My goodness, I opened a lot of things. There, okay. I'm gonna get rid of all these, but you. So, what can I do? I can do size. I can do style. I'm gonna go bold. I'm gonna do that. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna replace. 
our uh, going to replace our ladles. So we're, we're going to be done with that. So we're also going to get rid of those textures. Square level, time level. And we're going to need another setup. So type font ID equals um, normal. I don't know. That is normal. And let let load fonts. Content. We'll take the content manager. This guy, because we want texture key comparison, and I also want font key when font key comparison with background height, texture loader, and I also want a font loader. I want a game render. This is getting kind of ugly, really. Can I... Is there any way to get this to... Oh, what's the camera? Hmm. Or all the ah, uh, okay. So, do I do this? Haven't haven't done these when font key comparison when that. Got to figure out how to do multiple whens. How do I put multiple things to say? Alright, I have to say when texture key comparison. And then this one here, C V V. And we're gonna have a font loader. Okay. Sprite font. And this thing is telling me I see the constraint when font key comparison. So I need a when font key comparison. When font key comparison. So I'm missing something here about Nope, still not happy. So, let's go and learn. F sharp, uh, generics, multiple wins. Constraints, let's take a look. Then constraint, ah, uh, and. Oh, why wouldn't I know that? Okay, and. Okay, kids. <laughs> ah, it's not into a. Okay, when that and that, it, okay, I, I, I get that. Um, we're just going to accept that and move on. I, <laughs> it seems a little weird to me, but that's that's okay. And what I want to do is I want to take off fonts. I want to take uh, fonts, which is a map. Map sprite font. 
That's a font key. Ugh. Font key. Sprite fonts. And we're going to go fonts. Just really, this one, just send it to the... Uh, to the font loader. And we're also going to have to send fonts. And that'll make that angry, but <clears throat> so be it. So my game renderer, now the game renderer See, I'm also going to have to do this. This one's, this one's starting to smell. So I need that. I need a map font key to um, sprite font. Okay, so that's all cool, but it means that... Uh, My draw, draw the game, draw a game. Okay, let's see. All right, fonts. Font ID and spray font. Yeah, we're getting there. <coughs> What's fonts? Let's get the fonts in there. Word state fonts. Fonts. So we're going to game over state and the play state. We will throw those in there. Draw play state. Still draws the play state. Alright, cool. Alright. Draw a score. And shall we? That's where somewhere along here. So that one's drawing the score and drawing the score label. I we want to get rid of the score label and the time label. We're going to draw a texture, we're going to draw a digit. We're no longer going to need to do any of that. We just need to have a uh, draw string. Let draw draw text. The destination with destination height. I don't need those anymore. I need I do need a font. Need the font. Need X and Y. I need the text. I need the fonts. Okay, that's what I need. The fonts. Fonts, and that's a. So I just need a font. I just want a sprite font. And the sprite badge. Why are you angry? He's bound twice. Okay, that's right. I don't know. So X, Y, text, what font? Yeah, color, don't I? Let's go to the color. We will say spray. Spray. Batch dot. I might put the, the uh, draw string. I need the spray font. I need the text. Uh, new vector two and color. Yeah, stuff is stuff is so not in the right order. But I just need to get something. Thirty two, switch that over to a full thirty two. Let's just get this junk on the screen, huh? Okay, what's it angry about? And overload. 
not be determined. What is text? Well, that's a string. string. That's a color. Alright, so we specify that. So now I gotta draw text. So, but now these are no good. So that does that, and then we do we return font right match. I don't even really need that there. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking. Well, well, it's nice and all. We want to be able to do this. Just have it return unit. So we're gonna draw text. Draw, draw the text. It's at status panel X zero. Um, score and color dot white fonts normal. Take that guy out. Failed. What do we do? Fix two type arguments. Oh, you're right. My game. Font ID. My game. Load fonts. Do we do the texture in the font? Is that right now? Build you again. Oop. Is that not right? Well, it, it's it's writing it correctly, but what am I doing that is wrong? Up oh, six, silly, silly me. It's supposed to be a sixty. And more importantly, we can we can at some point. Replace. Actually, we will replace that. Well, next time we can finish replacing our our um, text rendering, which includes the score and the countdown timer, with this. And then we can then we can see about adding some more of the more of the features to the game. But in any case. Uh, Hope it wasn't a too confusing and weird ride. I uh, yeah, I'm rec I'm recording things and showing my struggles and trials with some of the some of the tools. It's not as straightforward as one might think, but uh, from here, there's, it's been a, it was a valuable lesson on the on the XNB stuff. And yes, we can get it into into our F Sharp project without relying on the uh, uh, in integration into Visual Studio as we would for a C-Sharp project. It's one of the fun things about F-Sharp projects is that it doesn't really give you a whole lot of help.
but it's also um, a lot of the minus downside of it. But so next time we'll finish that up and we're going to see if we can uh, get some more cool stuff going on on the screen. I know we're tired of looking at just a smiley face and a dollar sign, but sometimes, you know, you got to got to get work done. So be sure to like and subscribe because that will help me. And we will see you next time. The Joy of Functional Game Dev, Project 1, Episode 6.